Welcome to Philippines. Oh man, nice. And what are you making juice? This is so cool. I cook it. Oh sorry. <laughs> I think I'll need something. So today I am in Metro Manila, the capital region of the country of Manila. And I'm trying to go to this place called uh, Divisoria, which has this like huge open air market with a lot of uh, street stalls and whatever, where you can find uh, clothes at the cheapest prices, which is exactly what I need. Uh, some people say that area has a bit of an issue with pickpocketing and was a bit sketchy back in the days, but from what others have told me, my friends have been there, I think it'll be fine. So I'm just gonna go check it out by myself. There's like these roosters over here. And this is right next to a restaurant, so maybe they're like, <laughs> eat these chickens or roosters later. This guy just came up to me and wanted to sell me Cialis on the streets and was like saying it's for a good price and then pulled out a bunch of coins. This has never happened in my life before. You wanna go to Divis Aria? How much is it? Like 200? 200? 250. 200 is on grab. Do you have change for 1000? Yeah, yeah. You do? Okay. Can I sit in the front? Okay. Okay, yeah. Are you Blanca? Yes, sir. <laughs> Bangladesh. The man here is super friendly. He's letting me sit on the front. Aaron, Aaron, okay, okay. See, this area is like good for the street market, right? Yeah. Okay, I need to buy some. Cheap clothes, price. low price, perfect. Yeah. So my friend Aaron here is saying this is a jeepney, which is like the traditional Filipino ride that everyone gets into, but it's a bit too crowded for me right now. Yes. Rizal Park, right? Yes. So this is so nice, just getting some air in the middle of this hot day. It's like 32 degrees today, but on my watch it tells me that it feels like 35 degrees and I believe it. This is crazy. Uh, Aaron watches Luke Demand's videos. Luke, if you're watching this, we found a viewer. <laughs> We're crossing the Pasig River, right? Yes. What is this uh, area called? The name of this area? Binondo. Binondo. Binondo oh, Chinatown. Bridge, Chinatown. Right? Chinatown. Okay. So this Chinatown is actually the oldest in the world. It's like 400 years old. And uh, some of the oldest communities here are like Chinese people. There's a lot of influence, but I'll talk more about that later. We're going to Divisoria Mall. Okay. There's an outdoor area, right? With like yeah, streets yeah. and stuff. Okay, so many. Oh, Chicago Bulls. What up, brother? People are very friendly in the Philippines. Everyone's always smiling. Do you have the top top in your country? Yeah. Like this? Yeah, yeah. Like, exactly like this. It's, we call it something else. We call it CNG. Not top top. Call, call it CNG. 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 Not top top. Not tuk tuk. No, no. No. Twenty years ago, we used to call tuk tuks baby taxi. Baby taxis yeah, yeah, yeah. in your country. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but now everyone calls it CNG. But no have the aircon. <laughs> no, no aircon. This is a natural aircon, you know, natural. like from the air. Fresh, fresh, fresh. I just realized we have a Bajaj Tuk Tuk, which is uh, made in India. <laughs> so we're next to the Divisaria Mall, which is like an indoor shopping mall, but I'm gonna try to go and shop some outdoor stuff today. Like a food, like a toy. Oh yeah. This is like all kinds of street food. Mm. Barbecue. That looks delicious. Barbecue. Yeah, I can smell it. I'm starving right now. I take it on the other side. Okay. So, what is the name of this street? Uh, what's this street called? I don't know. Oh, is this a side street? Only street. <laughs> Doesn't have a name. This looks a lot like like a side street in Bangladesh with the markets. And stuff. Like? Yeah, yeah. Bangladesh is like this basically. Yeah, like lots of people selling stuff on the streets. Oh, what is that? Like toys. We're here. We're here to see oh, okay. This is like the balloons with someone's birthday, I guess. Oh, okay, I see. Okay. Oh, you, you, you can keep it, brother. No, you, you can keep it. It's yours. Keep it's, the change? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, thank you, thank sir. You. Thank You're you, nice. Thank you. thank you, brother. Thank you. Thank you, Aaron. You. See you. We're in Elias Street in the middle of it. Sorry. <laughs> this is so crowded. Now I'm in the thick of the local Philippines in a local market and I need to buy some shorts because I have a massive hole in my jeans. Shorts with pockets, like zippable pockets because uh, otherwise my phone, my wallet just slides out of my regular you know, basketball shorts when I'm sitting anywhere which is uh, pretty dangerous when you're traveling. Oh. We got flowers. Some fast food. 
not really feeling like eating potatoes right now. Oh. Bangladesh. 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 Yes. Yeah. Do you know where I can find uh, shorts like for wearing clothes? Like just shorts for like with zip pockets, you know? Divisoria Mall. Divisoria Mall? But not on the streets anywhere? Like second floor. Second floor, you think? But like nowhere on the streets here? Yeah. Okay. Only yeah. there. Only there? Okay. I'll oh, crap. Okay, I'll just walk around and see what there is. Thank you. Bangladesh. Yes. Salamat. People are so friendly, my goodness. Well, they said I should go up on the mall, and uh, I'm not here to go inside a mall, so I'll try my best to find shorts wherever I can. I don't know why this guy's yelling. Hmm. Pictures of babies. I don't know what this is for. This is so crowded. It's a lot like Bangladesh, but Bangladesh is actually even way more crowded if you go to a market. If you haven't seen my raw video from uh, New Market, which I think, in my opinion, is the most crowded place on earth, you can go check that out to get an idea of what Bangladesh looks like. Look at the crowd. That is so crowded. Okay, now I'm just going back because I think I went to the end of the shopping area. So I'm just gonna walk around and see what I can find. I am hungry, so I might go back to that barbecue chicken place. Ice cream. Yeah, I'll definitely get some ice cream later, but I need some proper food, some proteins, before I get a snack. Hello. Oh man, I don't know how they're trying to fit a car in here. That's crazy. There is no way there's enough space. Man, there's like so many cars trying to pass through this spot with no space and like a bike parked here or a golf cart. I don't know what this is. This guy is going to be stuck here for a while. Hello, brother. Hello. This is corn? Yes, sir. Okay. I'll go, not now, maybe. I'll go get some chicken first. I'm hungry. Okay, thank you. But uh, how much is it, the corn? 25 pieces. 25 pieces. Okay, thank you. Corn looks good, but I'm really feeling like I want some chicken right now. I'm gonna go wow. find that barbecue spot. Sorry, about, sorry. About so it's like Bangladesh, you're gonna hit some people if you're just trying to squeeze in, and that's a part of life. Man, right, these beautiful girls. Now I see a lot of uh, cups and plates over there. Well, that is not exactly what I'm looking for. Another car. The thing about Manila, especially, I don't know if it's like this everywhere in the Philippines, it's a lot like uh, South Asia where you can't really wait for people to give you space if you're trying to go somewhere. Yes, be polite and everything, but you also have to like be assertive and make your way through a place if you want to get somewhere in time. Oh, I see it. Ooh. Barbecue? What is this? What kind of meat? Uh, is this chicken or this is chicken? Pork and what is this? Um, blood. Blood? And what's this? Chicken. Chicken. Okay, okay. This is ten pesos. Yes. Okay, okay. I'll I'll get one of this, please. How many pieces? Uh, one piece. <laughs> one piece for now. Let's see. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's, they're cooking it. Oh man, nice. And... What is the name on your channel? On your... Nadir on the go. Nadir on the go. Nadir N. N A D I R. Nadir on the go. Yeah, this is so cool. I cook it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh man. Okay. I just dropped this. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll buy it. I, I dropped it. So I'm gonna buy it now because I dropped it. Nadir channel. Nadir on the go. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, what's this? Oh, like sauce? Uh, yeah. Oh man! Secret weapon. Secret weapon. <laughs> Is it spicy? The food? I am so excited to eat this. Oh man, this looks so good. How many years have you been making? Yeah, fifty. I did. Twenty years you've been making it. So you make the best chicken. <laughs> Funny, this kid wants all the food, but the mom won't like let her have it or him have it. Thank you. Okay, I'll take one first. You know. Thank you. Okay. Moment of the truth. Hot. Try this. Try this. Hmm. I'm supposed to dip it. Oh man. Come on. Okay, now I'm gonna try it. 
with this hospital. I like it. There's more bones than I thought it was there. Pretty nice. This is hard to eat with one hand, I'm not gonna like. I don't really see a place to put my camera down either. Hello brother. How are you? So I'm gonna try to put this camera out on a box so I can like eat this properly without uh, too much struggling. Now I can sort of eat. How much was the chicken? 20. 20, okay. Salamat kuya. Thank you, brother. What are you making juice? Pineapple juice. Pineapple juice. How much is uh, one glass? 10 pesos only. 10 pesos, okay. We get some pineapple juice too. Straight from the source. What's your name, brother? Carlo. Carlo. Thank you, brother. <laughs> thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Salamat to you. I will. You will. Yeah. It's uh, Nadir, Nadir on the go. Nadir. Do you know where I can find uh, shorts? Like, for shorts? Over there? You go to Elias Street. Elias Street? Over oh. there? Okay. Um, one, two. Four Street. Time to try out the pineapple juice. Oh, this is really nice and refreshing. This is good. Salamat. I don't usually like pineapple, but this is so nice. Very much needed in the heat. Another car is coming, so I have to get out of the way. Sorry? Oh, yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. He watches you on YouTube. Yeah, you're a friend. Oh, man, that's crazy. I found someone who actually watched me from the Philippines. Hello. Hello. Welcome to Philippines. Welcome. What's your name? Sorry. Thank you. Yeah. Hey, do you want to take a picture? Yeah. Yeah. Nice to meet you guys. Thank you. Man, finally found someone who recognized me from the Philippines. This is so cool. This like rarely happens in other countries. I think it happened a little bit in Albania. Maybe like three or four times total. The whole time I was there. Um, happens in Serbia because I basically lived there. But <laughs> It doesn't happen in most places. This is delicious, but it's also very sugary. Maybe you shouldn't drink this if you're diabetic or something. Hi, sir. Nuts? Peanuts? Peanuts. Okay. Can I get a little bit? 10 or 20. Uh, 10? 10 pesos. 10 pesos, yeah. I'm getting some yeah. peanuts. This one is spicy or not is spicy? Uh, spicy peanuts, yeah, yeah. You want garlic? A little bit? Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. You, you want, you want? A little bit of garlic, okay. Peanuts with garlic. Bye bye. <laughs> 10 pesos, right? Thank, Thank you, brother. You. What's your name? Uh, my name is Jeffrey. Jeffrey, okay. Jeffrey. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Salamat. Where's the. Oh, this is it? Okay. Thanks, thanks. Thank you. Okay. Let me just uh, sit somewhere so I can like actually eat. This didn't give me a lot. Okay. That's what you get for 10 pesos, I guess. Oh. This is spicier than I thought. Thankfully, I can eat spicy stuff for the most part. If you can't tell, I was really, really hungry when I came here, so I'm just like eating everything in sight. That was another nice snack, but I got a little sidetracked. Now I'm gonna try to actually find the shorts. Okay, I see clothes. We're getting closer to shorts, I hope. More like winter clothes. So this is like shirts you buy for 50 pesos, which is less than a dollar. Well, I see some shorts, but they're a bit too colorful and maybe they're for kids. Okay, I see more clothes. Man, I think I might have to actually like go into the mall because I am not seeing the shorts that I came here to buy. I think of, oh, there's a lady driving one of those golf carts. Oh, I like this song. All right, I'm gonna try inside the mall to see if I can find some stuff there. You guys see a lot more clothes here. Everything is on sale here too, so that's pretty nice. Finally, I see some shorts. Here's helping me find what I'm looking for, hopefully. This. Does it have zippers? Or Yes. Okay, that's what I was looking for. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. Does this have zippers? No, this one does. Does it have a waist size on it? 3XL. Okay. So not for me, probably, right? What is your waistline? Like 29? Okay. Yeah, yeah. So I think I'll need something. What's your name? Lisa. Lisa. <laughs> 
to the XL. Maybe this will work. I don't know. Thank you for showing me. Well, I like these shorts, but I don't know if I'm too skinny for them because this is XL. Sorry. And say is helping me find the right size. Well, the waist is skinnier on this one, but it's like really short. This is the smallest one you have? Yeah, XL. XL, okay. And these are 180 pesos. So I'll get both of these. Is that okay? So I wasn't really sure what the right size was. So I just ended up getting two of these because I don't know which one's gonna fit me and there was no changing room. Hopefully one of them will work. And two of these together cost like 360 pesos, which is like seven dollars, so like three and a half dollars each, which is a steal. Now I'm gonna go out of Divisoria back to my side of town for a bit. How are you brother? I'm using this ride sharing app for bikes called Joyride. I am very high up. So the problem with Manila is that so many people, the traffic is pretty crazy. I found out from a guy who works in my hostel, the best way to beat traffic is actually like get on one of these bikes on a ride sharing app. That way you're not kind of stuck in traffic because they can uh, zoom through cars at stoplights or whatever. 